Do you like to drive? Some people love the feeling of driving a powerful car on an open road. Steering through the corners and accelerating up the hills can be a thrill. Who holds the steering wheel in your life? When the road gets bumpy, who's in control? to live my life closer to thee. Most of us value our personal freedom. We may not want to be in charge in every situation, but we most likely want to be in control. There are times in our lives when we feel like we're rushing forward without holding on to the wheel. Is it God who's driving? Or is he in the passenger seat? Does it matter? How does this work when we are people of faith? When we don't know how to handle this uneasy feeling that we don't have a handle on our lives, God reminds us that we already know the answer. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23, we're told to Hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Our hope is not in ourselves. Our hope is in who we know God to be. A practical step to take in times of turbulence is to look to God's promises. We know God is faithful. We know that he accomplishes what he sets out to do. God's not surprised by what's happening in your life, but God promises to remain as your refuge and strength. How do we know we can trust God to deliver, to continue to be with us even in the worst times? We know because God sent his one and only son to walk the road of suffering for us. Our Heavenly Father did not hesitate when it was time for Jesus to suffer and die. And when Jesus was placed in a tomb and everything seemed out of control, our awesome God raised Jesus from the dead, delivering life through the resurrection. God has delivered, and he will continue to provide for you. Hold tightly to the promises of God. Know that he's your steady rock. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, help me to hold on to who you are. When everything seems out of control, help me to remember that you will continue to be my refuge and strength, no matter what is happening in my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us. If you're seeking services for symptoms of mental illness, please talk to your primary doctor or a health professional. Don't have one? Consider one of the resources listed here to find help. And God's peace to you.